Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video I will be sharing the most interesting facts about weapons from movies, games and real life. Today we will talk about one of the most advanced rocket launchers in the world called Javelin. We will find out if it lives up to its flawless reputation or if it has some serious drawbacks. I will tell you about its invention, its cool features and why it's worth a whopping one and a half million dollars. If you are curious, then watch the video until the end and give it a like. FGM-148, also known by its codename Javelin, is like the American superstar of portable anti-tank missile systems. It's the ultimate weapon for taking down armored vehicles and swooping low-flying targets like helicopters, drones and even those cheeky propeller-driven planes trying to land. But hold on folks, before we dive into the juicy details, Let's take a trip down memory lane and explore the thrilling history behind this badass weapon. Picture this, a fierce competition in 1986 with not one, not two, but three companies vying for the opportunity to blow things up in the name of progress. Now, when it comes to creating the perfect anti-tank system, there are some serious demands on the table. First and foremost, the shooter's safety had to be bulletproof, pun intended. No harm should come their way while wreaking havoc on the battlefield. It's like being a superhero but with the ATGM instead of a cape. Next up, we had to ensure that javelin shaped charges packed a punch, capable of turning the latest Soviet and Russian tanks into scrap metal. We're talking maximum impact folks. And hey, range matters too. Javelin had to show off its firepower with a whopping 2km shooting range day or night. The sun doesn't set on Javelin's awesomeness. But wait, there's more. Javelin isn't just a ground pounder, it's a versatile beast. It can fire from buildings which adds a touch of urban warfare excitement to the mix. And guess what? It even comes with a fancy schmancy command launch unit for all your reconnaissance missions. Who said blowing stuff up couldn't be strategic? The testing of the system began in 1988 and by February of 1989, it was announced as the winner of the competition. After the victory, the development company was given 36 months to fine-tune the system. As for its verbal name Javelin, the complex received it in October 1991. Before that, it was known as the TIAAWSM, which was kind of an anagram for awesome or cool. Serial production started in 1994 and soon it was discovered that Texas Instruments had delivered a product that was not quite what they had demonstrated during the tests. In fact, the actual quality was much lower than before, and on top of that, the launcher itself lacked half of the features presented in the prototype. The company made this move because it lacked sufficient capital to produce such a large batch of systems and thought that the stern generals wouldn't notice the trickery. However, Raytheon quickly emerged on the horizon, effectively taking over the missile business and absorbing Texas instruments. Raytheon had the necessary capital to fulfill the original order as intended. In the end, the total cost of the Javelin development program reached a staggering $5 billion for the United States. The procurement cost for a single launcher and six missiles is $600,000 for the US Army, while the export price for such a package approached $1.5 million, making Javelin one of the most expensive launcher systems in the world even to this day. And now let's find out how exactly this weapon works and why it comes with such a hefty price tag. Essentially, the entire Javelin system consists of two components, the command launch unit and the expendable missile. Let's start with the launch unit, which is used for target acquisition and identification. The search process is carried out using either the day or night channel, after which the shooter switches to the missile guidance system for target tracking. Regardless of the time of day, the night channel is the primary mode of operation. In this mode, the image is displayed using a thermal imager and the Javelin's guidance system operates based on this principle. By the way, to ensure the proper functioning of the thermal imager, its matrix needs to be cooled, which is taken care of by a special cooling system. As for the day channel, it's essentially a telescopic system that allows observation with zoom capability without requiring power supply. In simpler terms, it's just like a pair of binoculars. 
To aim the missile at the target, the shooter in the observation mode uses an adjustable frame that can be set in terms of height and width to highlight the target. Once the target is selected, the missile can be launched. And now, let's dive into the juiciest part. Picture this. The Javelin missile equipped with its super-powered infrared seeker is like a heat-seeking missile on steroids. Once it's launched, it becomes a relentless tracker, chasing down its target with unwavering determination until BAM! It hits the bullseye. But hold on folks, we're not done yet. This missile is equipped with a dual mode fuse that's like a master of precision detonation. It knows exactly when to explode upon impact with the target head on or when to go boom at a low altitude just above it. It's like a fireworks show tailored for armored vehicles with an extra punch of shockwave force. Say goodbye to those tanks in style. Now, here's the kicker. You might wonder, with all that fiery rocket engine action, how does the shooter avoid a surprise face-melting session? Fear not, the Javelin comes with a nifty soft launch system. It's like a cool party trick where the missile has not one, but two engines. The first engine ignites with a burst that's just enough to safely release the missile. Then at a safe distance, the second engine kicks in, propelling the missile towards its target like a speed demon on a mission. But wait! There's more! The Javelin missile is a multitasker. It offers not one, but two engaging modes. Mode 1 is the direct hit, where the missile flies straight as an arrow right to the target's face. But Mode 2 is the special one. It's like a rocket roller coaster ride. The missile shoots skyward, then swoops down from above, striking the target with a vengeance at an angle that's just jaw-droppingly awesome around 30 to 60 degrees of pure excitement. It's perfect for sending those pesky helicopters spinning in confusion. Sorry choppers, but this missile knows how to make an entrance. And when it comes to cost, my friends, let's be real here. Javelin missiles are like the superstars of destruction. They can tear modern tanks into pieces like a kid unwrapping a birthday present. The damage they inflict is worth every penny and then some so even though they might come with a hefty price tag, trust me, the chaos they unleash on the battlefield is worth every single shiny coin. So far it seems like the Javelin has no drawbacks, but that's far from the truth. Let's start with the biggest downside. Remember how we mentioned that the thermal imager needs to be cooled before targeting? Well, it means that to use this system, the shooter has to retrieve the javelin, turn it on, and wait for about 4 minutes for the system to give them the targeting capability. Now, imagine this scenario. You suddenly hear the roar of engines coming from behind a hill. You grab your javelin to take down a helicopter or tank, but you're forced to wait for a significant amount of time. In those 4 minutes, you could be shot at multiple times, leaving you vulnerable. So it turns out that using the Javelin requires premeditation and waiting for the enemy's vehicles to appear. Moreover, the engagement range of the system is only 2 kilometers, which is catastrophically short for conducting a battle. It means you have to let the target come uncomfortably close within a range where the target can easily fire back at you. That's also a huge disadvantage. And let's not forget about the price. Nearly one and a half million dollars for a single system. Needless to say, it's not exactly a positive factor when considering this type of weapon, especially if the target is not destroyed with the first hit, or if you somehow manage to miss it. Now, let's take a look at which game we might have encountered the Javelin and whether its characteristics are accurately represented there. As an example, let's consider the game Armor 2, known for its complexity and realism. In the game, the Javelin is presented with the exact same name as in reality, FGM-148 Javelin. It fires at a range of 2 kilometers, has the same two firing modes and very similar interface to the real-life weapon. However, in armor, it is possible to engage a target as small as a person, which is not advisable in real combat because using the weapon costing $1.5 million to eliminate an ordinary infantryman would be more expensive than necessary. Additionally, in armor 2, there is no need to wait before taking a shot, whereas in reality, after activating the javelin, one must wait for a period of time for the thermal imager to function properly. Overall, the representation of this weapon in the game is quite accurate, 
and the absence of the waiting time can be attributed to the gameplay mechanics that make the experience more enjoyable. Write in the comments which other games you have encountered this launcher in and how well it corresponds to reality.